Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lipstick Lips, and I'm coming to you with a new video. For this video, I'm just going to be doing my normal makeup routine. Um, I feel like I haven't done something like this in so long, like with makeup. I feel like it's COVID's been happening and nobody's been into makeup. I haven't been into makeup, so I think I'm just going to just do some makeup and, you know, do my normal tips and things that I use, which if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, Lipstick Lips with two S's, and let's get on with the video. So I'm just going to basically do my makeup and I guess talk about things. I don't know. I'll start sweating in this video is because it's really, really hot down here and I try to have the fan on and it might be coming into the microphone. So I apologize. First, I'm going to put on my foundation. This is Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I use this all the time. I even use this on clients if I have. If somebody wants their makeup done, I use this on clients because it never fails no matter what skin tone. And this is in the dewy formula. This is 360 in my complexion. Hopefully it still matches because... I've been like not in the sun all summer. I'm gonna put a setting spray on first and I use this Scandinavia because I feel like when you put setting spray on first before your foundation, it blends better in my opinion. You see how dark this is and it's crazy because it's the summertime and I'm not even, I should be bronzed by now. Just one day at the beach is gonna get me to this complexion. I take a beauty blender just to um, push everything in. That's just something I do. Next, I move on to my concealer, and this is in Tarte Sh Shape Tape. Uh, this is in Deep. This is my favorite concealer. It blends in one of my favorite concealers. I do use another one, which we're not going to get into for this video, but I use this all the time. This is my go-to. It's, it's very smooth. It doesn't leave creases, and I really love it. And before, when I used to put my concealer under my eyes, I used to do the whole triangle thing. I don't do that anymore. I just put it right here in the corners because that's all you need, and I flick it right here in this corner because I want to lift my eye basically. And for the rest of my for the rest of my face, I basically put it on my forehead because I want to brighten this down the bridge of my nose, down here on my cupid's bow and on my chin because that's all the areas that I need to brighten. But you don't want to use too much concealer, just use a little bit enough to blend it in and brighten it just a little bit like you don't need that much. And I'm basically going to take the same beauty blender and blend everything out. And as you can see, the concealer brightened up my foundation so I don't look as dark. So next thing I want to do is set the concealer that I put in. I'm also going to set, set the foundation as well, but the first thing I want to do is set the concealer. You want to set the concealer first because it starts to crease and that's the last thing you want to happen. So I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup, my favorite. I always use this. If you're super, super light, it probably won't work because it's kind of like a, a, a banana-ish tint. You might not want to use this, but every, anybody that has like darker skin tone, you know, that those ranges, perfect for you. So I basically take a fluffy brush. It's doesn't matter this is the Jaclyn Hill JH07 brush doesn't matter what you use just as long as it's fluffy and it, you can press it in there and I just take the powder and press it in also I'm not going to use a lot of powder I'm just going to use enough to dust it and wipe it away it's we used to bake and leave powder all over your face it's not necessary anymore we, we moved on So now to set my foundation, I set my concealer, everything is bright and I need to set my foundation because it's still like that wet, dewy kind of texture. I'm going to use my soft focus powder. This is from Black Radiance. This is in the color Milk Chocolate Finish. I love this because it's, it feels like butter on your skin. This is like my second time buying this because I broke the first one. So if I, it's something that I go to or I buy repeatedly, I always recommend to people. This is the Jaclyn Hill JH01. You're going to see a lot of those brushes because I love them. It's not too expensive for the set that you get. Like... Especially if you're like a um, start starting off with makeup and you need a set of brushes, good ones, just get the Jaclyn Hill one or that maybe the James Charles one. It's not that expensive. Makeup brushes used to be way more expensive back in the day, but it's not anymore. But anyway, I'm using this. I'm going to set my face all over. Also, when you're setting your powder, don't be afraid to go over the, the concealer that you already put on because it's just going to make it more transition. It, well, it won't look like you just got white powder under here and darker powder under here. Once that's done, I move on to con contouring. And contouring, basically, I use powder. I don't use um, liquid contour. It's just not my thing. I can use it, but I, it's just too much. I don't have to do all that. And this is an NW58 by MAC. I use this really small dome, and I just place it right here under my cheek, where my cheekbone is, like, right underneath my cheekbone. Like, you fill for your bone and just go right underneath it. Then I take JHO2, which is like, it's like a powder brush, but it's kind of 
pointy at the top that way when you can get into like the contour area so i recommend i highly recommend this brush so i go back in here dust it off and then go around my face i'm just going around my cheekbones my chin and my forehead And then for my nose, I basically take a, um, a eyeshadow brush. I go right back into this NW58. If you focus here into your brow, into your nose, that's this little, uh, what do you want to call it? A circle, semi-circle thing part right here. It'll automatically make your nose for you, if that makes sense. And don't be afraid to go up into your brow and everything. And as you can see, it basically makes your nose for you. It's not going to stand out too much because you're going to put eyeshadow on and blend everything out. As far as the rest of my nose, I just go on to the side here. I don't really make a, a line, like a really sharp line. I just want it to be a little bit darker. So after I'm done, I basically do my eyebrows. Basically, when I do my eyebrows, I use brow. And I use the color granite because I like my eyebrows really, really dark. I'm going to be using something that's basically, if not my skin tone, close to my skin tone, like a shade off. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I love it for eyeshadows because it just blends. It's just so easy to blend eyeshadows on, on top of this. And I don't like to go too light underneath my eyes. I want them to look natural. For my eyeshadow, I'm using Tati Westbrook's uh, eyeshadow palette. I'm basically going to stick with this brown and this black here and maybe this here for my lid. All right, so now that I'm done all my eyeshadow and everything, I basically did what I said. I was going to put some dark, put some light, nothing spectacular. Oh, and I made sure I blend under my eyes. I love when I smoke out underneath my eye and like I take it down real low, like into the bags underneath my eyes <laughs> because it just make it more smoky looking. I don't know. Try it. You might like it. So now I'm just going to move on to putting on my eyelashes. Um, actually, I'm going to put the glue on my eyelashes because I got to let them dry and then put them on. So now that I'm letting my eyelashes dry before I put them on, I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm just going to do a, a new tone. I really like this color Patience Please by MAC. I'm just going to use a lip liner and chestnut, which I always use because it, you know, it matches our skin tone. All right, so now that my lips is done, I feel like my lashes are kind of dry, so I'm going to put them on. My technique is I basically take a mirror so my eyes are low, and then I place the lash on top, if that makes sense. Here's my mirror. I place it right here by my chin and look down at it. It's weird, but it works. <laughs> All right, now that I'm done with my lips and my lashes, I'm just going to let them dry on my face. And basically, this is uh, my highlighter. I didn't even, I didn't do blush. I'm really not into blush anymore, but I'm just going to do it for the video. It's my favorite blush. It's really new. doesn't come up too much. It's called Toasted Almond. There we go. I feel like I haven't put on a blush in so long. I'm going to move on to my highlight. I'm just going to put it in the inner corners of my eye, underneath my brow bone, on my nose, and on my cheeks because that's my favorite spots to highlight. So before I you're apply gonna, the, you're trying to make it seem like you don't talk down. Before I apply the highlight to my face, I'm going to spray my face with Fix Plus. I got to go this way because the fan is on. I'm sorry, this is not Fixed Blush. This is Morphe's uh, setting spray. I love it. It's my favorite. Make sure you set your face before you put on um, 
mascara because it will drip off. Secondly, if you feel like on your face when you put your makeup on it's too powdery and it looks like deadish, put setting spray on it and pat it in with a blending brush and it should come back to life. Added my final touches, my mascara, and I'm all done. So I'm basically all done, and this is what the look looks like. Tell me if you guys like it. Um, if you like this video and you want me to keep making videos like this, like back in the day, like throwing up makeup videos, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Lipstick Lips. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and until next time. Bye.